I think the onus is still on us to be marketers, you know, and I think that movies, thousands and hundreds of thousands of movies can exist in the world, but I think our role, you know, no matter what the platform, no matter what the distribution mechanism is, is as marketers to get people to, to you know, we, we're to, to watch the movies and we're curating in a sense because we're picking the movies and then we're trying to figure out a way to get people to know about them and care about them. So that's really our our role and the technology may change as we go along, but that's that role is sort of the constant and we like to think that we're, you know, in our 10 years of existence, we're kind of perfecting that. What it used to take to go to the video store, drive out there, find your movie, come back. I mean, it was a whole process and I think people loved it for a while, but I think the at some point people just realized, wow, this is really a kind of a time suck and when you can go to your living room and press a button, it makes the consumption that much easier and it gives people the ability in a sort of calm, cool, collected way to decide what they're going to spend their evening watching if they're going to choose to watch a movie. And that's, I think, a huge difference and I think it's just, in a way, just beginning. You know, it, it allows the voices of artists in the world to be heard through the medium of film and I think you know the the alternative is the film you know the 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 studios and the film industry which is you know great and makes great entertainment but that's completely different in a way than voices in the world being heard and I think there the the voices that are heard through independent film would not be heard in any other way if people didn't make them